this movie Goon, it's, it's you've directed now the sequel yeah. to Goon. Goon is about hockey, hockey enforcers. That's right. For those who don't know. Yeah, uh, hockey sort of has a very uh, strange uh, role position in it. Um, that is kind of going to the wayside. That era has kind of passed us. But yeah, there it's it's the only professional sport in North America that allows fighting to happen. And for except for boxing and mixed martial arts. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. But those are, okay. <laughs> fair, fair. It's the only non-combat sport okay, uh, yeah, in yeah. North America that allows fighting. And yes. there used to be for a time, for a bulk of my life, there was. Uh, at least one roster spot on each hockey team left for a guy that was really just good with his fists, and we thought that was pretty fertile ground for a movie. Sure, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so it's, we've... And this is, like, super popular amongst hockey players. It and... seems to be. You know, right. I, I don't know all 700-plus uh, NHLers, but the few that I've had contact with... Uh, they all, all know it. They all seem to uh, know it, dig it, reference it. You know, Carey Price quoted it in a locker room interview once. I see the boys wearing our Highlanders hats and stuff. And nice. Yeah, there's a tremendous amount of goodwill towards Who's the number one goon of all time? Oh, uh, he wouldn't like that word, but I say Chris Nyland. Chris Nyland's the single greatest hockey he, he fighter. He wouldn't like... He, he doesn't, no. no. He, he didn't watch my movie for years because of the name of it. Really? <laughs> yes. He thought that was a derogatory term, which it is, and I was trying to tell him that we did that deliberately. We're kind of trying to repurpose it. Um, Do you know if he watched the movie The Goonies when it came out? Was he uh, against that as well? That's a very... <laughs> that also a problem? That's a good point. Yeah, I, I suspect... He was in the sort of apex of his hockey career at that time, so I think he was a more word of a beating guys up. They but. like to be called enforcers or they just like to be called hockey players? I think you, I think probably hockey just players. Just hockey players, And yeah. then if you have to specify enforcer, I think. Yeah. I see. And so uh, were there guys, though, that embrace? I would assume lots of them like being goons. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of them just sort of like getting to do it. You Did know? they ask you to be in the sequel, the actual goons? Yeah, so, so I, I was very... We, we knew one thing we, when we knew when we were going to do the second one was we want to populate it with as many guys uh, that actually play hockey or fight in hockey as we can. And so we started recruiting guys like uh, Brandon Prust and uh, George Peros and Colton Orr. And then we got an email uh, from a guy calling himself uh, Mel the Mangler Anglestad, <laughs> who, um, who, 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 who just emailed us and was like, I think Goon is based on my life. And I was like, I know for a fact it isn't. Um, and then he said, and I should be in the sequel, and uh, my fight with Darcy Hordichuk is still regarded as the best hockey fight of all time. And I'm like, well, who the heck is this guy? Who is he thinking? And then I go and watch the fight, and I'm like, oh, He's right. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> and he's literally just like, I think he works, he's a fireman, EMS guy in, I think, Fort McMurray, Alberta. And, uh, yeah, great, yes! <laughs> um, and, uh, and so, yeah, we just brought him out, and he's in our movie. He took a week off of How saving people's lives. How was his acting? Did he, did he do a good job? He did an awesome job. He did, yeah. He did an awesome and even if he didn't, you're not going to tell the mangler he didn't do a good job, right? I mean, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, not no, 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 no. I, I want every man that can kill me to save as much face as possible. <laughs> um, no, what's really cool, when you put sort of... Uh, this is going to sound real hokey, but when you put sort of non-actors on screen with actors, the two make each other better. Huh. Because every actor wants to sound as real as they can, and being around real people does that. And every kind of non-actor wants to do a good job, and being around actors helps that. And right. so it ends up kind of being a, a, a cool thing you have We've got to get you involved in this Trump-North Korea situation. It sounds like you could <laughs> potentially solve that. No, thank you. No? All right. Well, Absolutely very good not. to see you. The movie is called Goon, Last of the Enforcers. It opens in theaters. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.